because I lost my temper in the middle of the night. Last <laughs> night, I went out to see Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse, and I had a really great evening. And I got back about half past 11, and I live in the city of London, and I got my um, sleeping T-shirt on. I was just about to uh, get into bed, and it must have been about midnight, and I heard that noise we all know. Clunk. Clunk. Scaffolding poles. <laughs> Put you know, you just got over one clunk and then the next clunk comes. They're putting them up or taking them down? Taking them down. At midnight? At midnight. So I put my sweatpants on, put a fleece on, put my, kept my slippers on, marched down the road. <laughs> and in the office block opposite my house, there were two blokes and they'd been repairing the lights in a, inside the entrance and they had some kind of scaffolding tower. And I went, what the...? Explicit. <laughs> Get the thing you're doing! <laughs> and the bloke went, we're just finishing up, mate. Oh. Mate. <laughs> we're just finishing mate. up. He Don't was great. Don't JSP, mate. No. At 10 past 12. And I went, well, I live here, other people live here. And as I was ranting at them, he went, I'm just doing my job. Maintenance. I said, "Well, don't do it at night." What? You know, what about all the people that live around here? And I heard the window of a, in the flats opposite open, and someone shouted, "Go for you, Janet! We haven't been able." To... <laughs> that people who have offices think it's perfectly OK <laughs> to do really noisy maintenance and really noisy work at night, it drives me mad. 